assemblies of parts on the Freed Experience platform can be authored by many people at the same time, and it's always possible to extend your model or aggregate it under a bigger assembly. This is why it's so important to keep your models clean and understandable by others, or even yourself, as you might forget the complexity of your own design after a while. The basic rule is to rename objects. The part and product title should say what it is, and it's nice to rename the 3D shape inside a part. Rename part bodies, geometric old sets, and order geometric old sets. And use preferably ASCII character to simplify international compatibility. Rename features when it's relevant, in the definition of a new DF, for example, to facilitate maintenance. This little example shows how you can create and reorganize your data. Let's say you create two points on a line between them. Double click on point command, validate the first point creation, the command remains open to create the second point, press enter on the keyboard to validate, and click escape to quit the point creation. Then create a line between these two points. But then you change your mind and create a third point, and make it the new extremity of the line. In this case, it's actually clearer to reorder the line after the point to keep features in logical creation order. You can also use another geometrical set to distinguish the result from the inputs and relocate the line in the result. To use parameters, set these options in preferences to display them with values and formulas in the tree. Then create a length parameter. As you can see here, as this parameter is local, you can relocate it inside the geometrical set to clarify your model. If you use this parameter to extend the line, the formula that is created can also be relocated inside the result geometrical set. And you can create another geometrical set to structure your data inside the part. Before saving, delete the useless elements. Make sure the parameter controls the length of the line as expected. Rename entities. Hide construction elements, control your model is up to date, and finally save your model. As you improve your Katia skills, you will use links to create smarter models. And this is to explain how to handle them properly. When you create a geometry based on a feature located inside a different part, you can create a link to this feature, so when the feature is changed, the geometry can update. To create a cover to the model of desk we designed in the previous example, create a new product, Rename it Desk with Cover. Insert the desk model made in step 1 of this tutorial. And insert a new part that will contain the cover. Rename the part title and the 3D shape. To create the link between the cover and the desk, you need to set this option. Then create the cover, like this for example. and give it a color to see it well in 3D. Now expand the tree and edit the sketch in the definition of the desk. And slightly change the size of the tabletop. At product level, the update will synchronize the link under external reference node and update the cover. By the way, it will work even if you only modify the instance position. Let's undo this. In fact, you need to use this powerful link capability with the warness. A frequent mistake is to select accidentally XY plane in a different part and make a completely useless link. If it happens, just delete it. A more tricky situation is when the person responsible of the part containing the feature deletes it. The part using the feature will get a broken link, an update will fail. This is how it would look like on the screen. On the right, the feature is deleted by Mr. A, an update of the part alone runs well, but Mr. B will get a difficult update error to fix. To continue the scenario, press undo until the surface delete. To avoid previous situation, use publication. 
It's an object created at product level for others to read. As for the publication of a book, hence its name. The link will point to the publication identified by its name. Back on the screen, Mr. A activates the product level. Clicks on Create Publication, select the surface in the part, input a name for it and validate. The publication is created in the tree. Now Mr. B can replace the latest external reference and redirect it on the publication and remove the last one that is obsolete. If Mr. A deletes the surface, he gets an update error. But he can modify the desk model to create a larger tabletop with an offset curve of the previous contour and then a field surface. At product level, he can modify the publication to this new surface that will naturally update Mr. B's model. Conclusion. Be a gentleman designer. Rename part and product properly. Keep the design logic clean, ordered, structured and as compact as possible. Use external references only when necessary with publication to the pointed geometry. Control, update and save your model frequently.